Welcome back to Hannity 2016. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is facing a great deal of backlash just two weeks after announcing his 2016 presidential bid. And it all started after he made these remarks about Mexican immigrants. Watch this. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. Now, last night, as controversy continued to swirl around those comments, Donald Trump fired back at his critics, and he said this. 80% of Central American women and girls are raped coming into the United States, crossing the border. So, you know, people say, oh, would you change it? Absolutely, I can't change it. I love Mexican people. I have a tremendous relationship. I also respect Mexico, but Mexico is doing a tremendous number against the United States. Here now with Reaction Radio talk show host Larry Elder, as well as Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. Juan, I was down at the border more about 10 times, mm -hmm. helicopter, all-terrain vehicle, horseback, boats, sat through briefings, crime statistics. You know, I've been in, the, I was sitting through that briefing with Governor Perry of, of Texas at the time. Um, I I've think I saw you in a commando boat down there. I was in a command, that was yeah. the one time. I've been all the way from the Rio Grande all the way to, to, to San Diego coming up a tunnel I went into right, right, right. that was built. Uh -huh. And I was in the drug warehouses. There is huge crime associated with this illegal border situation. Tell me one thing that Donald Trump said that's not true. Rapist? Yeah. That's Criminal one. members. How about, look, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You asked and I answered you. And that's, that's true. Terrible. That's terrible. No, that the they, Mexican they, people are coming across the, the border. Are ra he said, you're sending, not only are you sending uh, drug dealers, you're Juan, sending rapists. Juan, there are people moving drugs. There are people, humans. Sean, excuse how me, about this? We can go Human the other way. Do you think there are Americans? Criminals. Do you think there are Americans who are involved in the drug trade? Answer yes. Sure. Does that characterize Absolutely. us as an American no, people? He's saying that's having absurd. Uh, Larry, let's help him out here. He, <laughs> Donald Trump Please. is saying oh there goodness. is a huge criminal element that is crossing that border. Oh, he boy. said some people are fine, but there are a lot of criminals that are not fine. That's how I took it. How did you what take Donald, it? That's how I took it as well. What Donald Trump has done is tapped into a lot of anger that a lot of people have, not just Republicans, over these porous borders. I'm in California, a very liberal state, Juan uh, and Sean, and in 1994, blacks, whites, Asians, and about a third of Hispanics voted for Proposition 187 to deny uh, benefits to illegal aliens. Uh, these borders are porous, and not only that, a lot of Republicans feel that they're porous intentionally, that Democrats want to change the electorate to make it more pro-democratic, and, and Donald Trump is unafraid of being called a bigot by saying these kinds of things. Well, let me just say, he should be afraid of it because that's a fact. When you start characterizing an entire nation as sending people he who are drug dealers and he rapists, didn't. this is like Steve King's comment about cantaloupe calves because they're carrying backpacks filled with drugs. Larry, this is offensive, and it's the kind of thing that is said against black people and Hispanic people in this country. And again, who's involved with the drug trade? Things go both ways. And don't forget, don't forget, right now across that border, there is no mass influx of immigrants. This is being sent up in the air by Donald Trump to try to appeal to the very worst instincts in the Republican Party. Juan, there, there, there aren't mass numbers of UACs, unaccompanied uh, children coming across the borders, even as we speak, there aren't? No. In fact, that was last summer, if you'll recall, Larry. And what happened? That, that situation was, was dealt and they're with. Still here. It was resolved. And if they're you still look at here. the numbers 90... now, we have a net negative in terms of influx. And excuse, some people say me. it's not You're... because of the government, but because and, the American and, economy me, isn't booming Let me anymore. correct this, because they're predicting a and, and more than 90% of them year. are still here. They're predicting. You ask me so, about reality. Larry listen, asked me about reality. I give you the facts. You say, oh, but what, something have, might change in the I future. I have the video, and here's the reality. Go right ahead. Okay, the reality is I've been to a drug warehouse where drugs from Mexico are brought in. Floor to ceiling, a massive warehouse. Yes. We have the video. I've been there when they arrested a gang criminal, known criminal member. Right. On the, on the border with agents, there are criminals that are crossing the border. There are people that are human smugglers, drug smugglers. 
burglars. Yes. And yes, some people happen to be murderers and rapists. Oh my God. That is just a fact. But I would, you, and, 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 well, I hope that you Sean, and Larry Sean, would not Sean, characterize Juan, most Juan, of the Juan, people crossing please, that border who, as criminals Juan, and rapists. Did I, uh, Larry, did I say the people that Mexican people? No, I said there are criminals that cross the border. Yes, criminals, well, nobody, yeah, rapists, and, and murderers, and drug dealers, human shots. traffickers. Yeah, you should ask the people in Juarez about those American Marines going over into Larry. What is wrong with the liberal mind and, and, that they hear something that is not said? I don't get it. Well, yeah, and, 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 be, and beyond beyond all of this, beyond all of this, what about the economics of all of this? I have a friend named Peter Kirsten. I was on the U.S. Civil Rights Commission, and he said the liberals, the moderates, and the conservatives have all agreed that illegal immigration poses a threat to the jobs of blacks living in the inner city. He wrote a letter to Marsha Fudge in the Congressional Black Caucus. She hasn't even written him back. So we're concerned about not just crime, but also about jobs. And and Donald Trump has tapped into that anxiety, and that's why he's doing so well you in know, the polls. I want to put up on the poll numbers here because we got you know one poll. There's only one poll out today, and. And this is in Iowa. Look at this. Walker, 18. Trump's in second place, tied with Ben Carson at 10 percent. Nationally, he's second behind Jeb Bush. Now, I don't think what you are understanding is this country, when you look at the cost, the economic cost to our criminal justice system, our health care system, our educational system, of the mass influx of illegal immigrants that come here, I'm sure because they want opportunity, Juan, the vast majority of them, it is having a dramatic impact negatively on our economy. And people are <laughs> fed up. But it's having a tremendous that's, positive impact. That's why employers what are you talking that's about? why employers keep asking for more. They of want the cheap workers. labor. That's why there okay, are 93 that's wait, right. but You but just hit it. Me. They want cheap labor. There are 93 okay. million Americans. Wait a minute. There are 93 million Americans out of the labor force, 50 million Americans no, in poverty, no, Juan. That's they are not, now competing with all these people crossing the borders for I those limited jobs. Listen, John McCain, you know, right, senator from Arizona, right there on the border, says that is, in fact, John not McCain's true. not getting elected oh, again. Oh, okay. So, okay. in other words, you acknowledge that all we're doing here <laughs> is pumping up Donald Trump's name recognition I'm, and saying, I'm telling oh, you, Donald Trump is screaming about Donald immigrants. Trump That's is telling a truth that you polls. cannot stand, what? which is we have a huge problem with open borders. Final we do word, not. Larry. We, yeah, open borders, Asians are the, biggest, the biggest group coming in, not Sean, Mexicans. Ari. It's been estimated that in California alone, $25 billion, when you add in the educational costs of kids who are the children of people that came here and had kids, $25 billion a year in California alone, and Donald Trump has tapped into that anxiety. Yeah, well, Larry, let me tell you, this is the kind of divisive kind of rhetoric that was once aimed at black people. Now you have black people concerned about Hispanics, and I think it is ill-serving us as an American people to engage in this kind of Donald Trump rhetoric. And the idea that we would attack Mexicans? They're our neighbors. My goodness. No, we're talking about attacking them. They should be good neighbors. They and, are good neighbors. Excuse me. But when you look, I was on one side of the border. Poverty, <laughs> shacks that people live in, illegally. kids playing in what we would describe as a junkyard. On the other side is half million dollar homes in San right. Diego. Okay. I don't blame the people that want to come over. But there's so many criminal elements smuggling people, these coyotes that take. That has nothing. Let me finish. They're, they're they from all over the world. They, they take, take advantage of they the fact take they're advantage of these into people, the United States. People are dying on the ranches of Americans. You have drugs being smuggled into our cities, into the veins of our kids. We need to control the border. Donald Trump is right. And Sean, Sean, and Sean paranoia most, most Americans, Hannity, most and you're Americans believe paranoia that, right, along with Trump. I got to run. Larry, good to see Mo you. Most Americans, I don't know most about, Americans believe that. I don't know about Juan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up.